My daughter was diagnosed at age seven with type one diabetes. And it became my dream then to build a center to serve children throughout the Rocky Mountain region with type one diabetes so they could get the care. The Barbara Davis Center uh, is very much a part of the University of Colorado and uh, we have a clinic division that cares for both adults and children. We care for 3,000 children and 2,000 adults with type 1 diabetes and then we have a, a basic research division and a translational research group and the uh, basic researchers and the physician scientists very much work together. The Barbara Davis Center has been part of the University of Colorado School of Medicine for more than 30 years now. And it's really one of our oldest, most successful centers within the School of Medicine and the University of Colorado. The Barbara Davis Center is one of the two or three most, most important and preeminent diabetes research and uh, treatment centers in the United States. The Barbara Davis Center is, uh, has a number of different divisions and areas of, uh, that people work in. So relatively, there's a young adult clinic now called the Adult Clinic, the pediatric clinic that gives clinical care. Then we also have clinical research and basic bench research. And the area that I work in actually encompasses all. My research currently involves primarily continuous glucose monitoring and work leading to the closed loop bionic pancreas in which a continuous glucose monitor will control insulin output from an insulin pump and uh, combined with a computer to do this will eventually result in a bionic pancreas that will make life a bit easier and safer for patients with diabetes. My role is uh, twofold, to make sure that the kids and adults with type 1 diabetes in Colorado receive the best uh, clinical care, and uh, number two, carry out uh, research to find the causes and prevention of type 1 diabetes. What we're wanting to do is to take our knowledge into a treatment for type 1 diabetes. Now this will take time, but uh, there have been recent advances based on what we call antigen-based therapy, Im immunotherapy. This work will be essential ultimately uh, in designing a, a way of intervention in type 1 diabetes to prevent the disease. It is well known fact that diabetic retinopathy is the leading cause of preventable blindness in the United States and it's been, uh, it's had that statistic and that standing for the last 10 to 20 years. It's very important for our patients to come to this eye clinic in the Barbara Davis Center so we can detect this very, very important process in the, uh, in the retina to preserve their vision and keep them functioning uh, in, during their lifetime. Personally, I can so appreciate what Dr. Eisenbarth and the Barbara Davis Center do for so many families because my daughter has been a patient there for 12 years and I see the quality of care that they provide to patients, the level of competency and the connection between the research there and the clinical services. It really is a facility under Dr. Eisenbarth's leadership, par none in the United States. George Eisenbarth is really an incredible guy. He uh, is, I think, uh, if not uh, one of uh, the major reason why the Barbara Davis Center is what it is today. Dr. Eisenbarth is one of the top three or four researchers in the world in terms of uh, trying to find a cure for type 1 diabetes. To be able to work alongside him is just a privilege for all of us. When we find a cure, I know George Eisenbarth will be at the very forefront of that research. The Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation uh, has been a tremendous supporter of the Barbara Davis Center. I am forever grateful to the JDRF for their ongoing support throughout the years. The JDRF is, is, a, is a, a very important uh, sponsor of our work and uh, in fact uh, I would say the majority of what we're doing at the moment is funded principally by the JDRF. If the Barbara Davis Center didn't have the JDRF they couldn't do the level of work that they do so it's a great collaborative effort.